What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. We're going live tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific. So make sure you are ready. It might go earlier. So if you see that I'm live, just jump on. It might go an hour early, but sometime between 6 and 7 p.m. I will be live taking your phone calls at 619-721-3699. Text me before if you want to be on the show. I'll get you all lined up and situated. We'll be talking some major tech, so make sure you look out for the live show. Let's get into the news. The first story of the day comes out of Samsung with a leaked image of the Galaxy Note 7, the FE, you know, the fan edition, the refurbished version of this phone. And it looks like, if this leak is correct, that they're gonna place a little R on the bottom back of the new Galaxy Note 7, indicating that this is a refurbished model and that you can trust this that Samsung has, you know, dealt with this and it has, you know, the smaller battery in it and basically everything else is the same, but you're getting a safe phone versus what you would get possibly with the old Galaxy Note 7. And the last story of the day comes out of OnePlus and they put an image up on their Twitter and it shows an image of basically the same thing but it's cut in half and it says, can you tell which photo was taken with the OnePlus 5? Can you? Look at this photo, it's pretty. I would hope that it's the one on the right. The one on the right's more vibrant, clear, and just better to look at overall. The one on the left is very dull looking. It looks like it's almost like there's a storm coming in, whereas on the right it just looks like it's evening time. So I hope it's the one on the right. If it's not, I think they failed big time, but I'm pretty sure that the image on the right is the OnePlus 5. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My product of the day, guys, is still like it was yesterday. The Arlo 3 pack. It's only $449. Comes with a base station. Completely wireless. And you can place these cameras indoors or out. Talk through them, talk back. All kinds of cool stuff with these cameras. If you're looking to get into the security camera game, check these cameras out. They are definitely a major go. Also, my question of the day is, what do you think is the best? best camera on a phone that you've ever used. Maybe it's the Galaxy S8 and do you think that OnePlus 5 looks way too good uh, compared to anything you could take? For me, I still love the Pixel camera the best. Um, I think, and, and but the Galaxy is not, a, not a, too far behind for me. Um, so it's either, I could flip flop depending upon the photo, but uh, those two cameras are my favorite, the Galaxy S8 Plus and the Pixel XL. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite camera phone is. Also, thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys rock, thank you so much. If you wanna be a Patreon supporter, look in the description down below. It is linked there and you can help support this show and what I do, guys. I'm trying to do this full time and every little bit helps, so thank you so much. See you guys down the road. Peace. What is going on, guys? If you didn't see yesterday's news video, check it out over there. It's about the OnePlus 3T getting discontinued and also a big, big movie and TV show sale on the Google Play Store. Also, if you didn't see the video I released earlier today, it's all about how to set up Samsung Cloud on your Galaxy S8, S8 Plus so that you can back up your phone. It even shows you how to restore from it in case you need to get your settings and files and things like that back. And then if you're not subscribed, click my head, click subscribe and join us.